In the world of mirrorless cameras, even the smallest rumor can ignite intense discussion across the photography and videography community. Today, a particularly unexpected revelation about the upcoming Sony A7 V has done just that, transforming what might have seemed like a routine camera refresh into a potential game-changer for hybrid shooters. Enthusiasts and professionals alike have been waiting for Sony to address some of the most persistent frustrations in their lineup, including slow sensor readout, rolling shutter artifacts, and the cropped 4K 60p limitation. For years, these issues have plagued users of the A7IV, forcing compromises for anyone trying to shoot high-quality video without resorting to external recorders or limiting their creative movements. Initially, many of us assumed Sony would play it safe once again. The expectation was a mild refresh. Recycling the same 33-megapixel sensor from the A7IV, packaging it in a body similar to the A7RV, and adding minimal internal upgrades. It would have been safe, predictable, and, honestly, disappointing. But the newly leaked information paints a completely different picture. The most credible claims suggest that the Sony A7 V will feature a partially stacked 33-megapixel sensor, a development that carries enormous implications for performance. The partially stacked design is noteworthy because it dramatically increases the sensor readout speed. For context, the A7 IVS sensor has a sluggish 26 ms readout, which results in significant rolling shutter distortion, wobbling in fast-moving subjects, and skewed vertical lines during panning. For videographers, this is particularly frustrating, as whip pans or fast action shots can appear amateurish despite the camera's otherwise excellent capabilities. If the Sony A7 V delivers a partially stacked sensor, we could see readout speeds dropping to 10 to 15 milliseconds, a leap that puts this camera on par with higher-end mirrorless cameras and even some entry-level cinema cameras. This upgrade alone would make the A7 V a highly desirable hybrid solution for creators who want uncompromised video performance in a versatile, full-frame package. The faster sensor readout would directly address rolling shutter issues, improve autofocus calculations, and enhance low-light performance. Combined with an upgraded Beyond's XR processor, creators can expect smoother autofocus, better dynamic range, and reliable 4K 60p recording without the APS-C crop limitation that has frustrated hybrid shooters for years. For videographers, this means finally being able to shoot wide-angle cinematic sequences without compromise, a capability that has been sorely missed in the A7 IV era. The upgrade to uncropped 4K 60p alone is a massive selling point especially for content creators who work with fast-moving subjects, travel vlogging, cinematic b-roll, or wedding videography. The way this information surfaced is equally fascinating. According to reports, the leak seems to have been accidental, as if someone with early access casually mentioned the partially stacked sensor during a live stream. The remark immediately shifted the energy of the discussion across Sony's community, with users moving from skepticism to cautious optimism in seconds. The authenticity of this unplanned leak adds credibility. Unlike carefully staged marketing campaigns or clickbait announcements, the casual nature of this revelation suggests it was genuine, not crafted to generate hype artificially. The Sony A7 V is shaping up to be a significant mid-range hybrid camera upgrade. For photographers, the partially stacked sensor will enhance still image performance through faster readouts, enabling more precise continuous shooting and better autofocus tracking in challenging conditions. For videographers, it represents a long overdue solution to the limitations that have made some hybrid shooters consider switching to rival systems, such as the Panasonic S1 RII, S5EX, or Nikon Z6 III. The A7 V of May finally allow creators to stay within the Sony E-mount ecosystem without sacrificing video quality or professional functionality. The leaked details also suggest improvements beyond the sensor itself. Alongside the partially stacked design, the Sony A7 the 5th of May feature upgraded color science, better thermal management, enhanced object tracking autofocus, and a new eye-driven Beyond's XR processor. These improvements would make high bitrate internal video recording possible, potentially supporting 10-bit 4. 2. 2 video with higher bit rates, smoother performance during extended shooting sessions, and greater reliability across a variety of shooting scenarios. The camera could also include an upgraded four-way articulating screen, more stable IBIS in body image stabilization, improved ergonomics, and expanded Kana profiles for creators who demand cinematic precision. One of the more intriguing aspects of this rumor is the apparent deliberate delay of this sensor's release in Sony's lineup. 
The company recently launched the FX2 cinema camera, which continues to use the older, slower sensor. This frustrated early adopters, who were denied the performance enhancements that the new partially stacked sensor would have provided. The decision to reserve the sensor for the Sony A7 V suggests that Sony intends to create a distinct mid-range hybrid offering that appeals to both photographers and videographers, while keeping its cinema line separate. For hybrid shooters like me, who rely on the E-mount system and already own a complete set of G-Master lenses, this strategy makes the A7 V particularly compelling. Switching systems would require reinvesting in new lenses, recalibrating workflows, and learning an entirely new interface with little real gain if Sony finally addresses the long-standing issues that have held back the A7 IV series. In addition to these hardware improvements, the Sony A7 the 5th of May also introduced software and usability upgrades, early speculation points to expanded USB streaming capabilities, improved microphone preamps, refined touch controls, and more intuitive menu navigation. AI-powered subject recognition could further enhance autofocus reliability, allowing creators to capture complex scenes without constant manual adjustments. These features, combined with the new sensor and processing capabilities, would position the A7 V as a hybrid powerhouse capable of satisfying both still photographers and video-centric creators. It's also worth noting how these potential upgrades could shift the competitive landscape. Cameras like the Panasonic S5X, Nikon Z6 III, and Fuji X-H2S have been attracting hybrid shooters with strong video performance. But the Sony A7 the 5th of May close the gap or even surpass some rivals with its combination of full-frame quality, faster readout, improved IBIS, and versatile E-mount lens ecosystem. For creators considering a jump to a different system, staying within Sony now makes more financial and creative sense. Early adopters who were previously frustrated by the A7 IBIS limitations may finally have a reason to upgrade keeping their existing lens investments and taking advantage of the new sensor's performance. The hype surrounding the Sony A7 V is not merely speculative. It's grounded in the way the information leaked and the technical reasoning behind the partially stacked sensor. Creators who understand the impact of faster readout speeds recognize how transformative this could be for both video and stills. Rolling shutter artifacts, wobble during whip pans, and slow autofocus in high-speed action scenarios could become things of the past. For anyone who has shot with the A7 IV, the difference would be immediately noticeable, representing a leap that feels like a generational upgrade rather than a minor refresh. In conclusion, the potential of the Sony A7 V goes far beyond a minor refresh. The partially stacked sensor, uncropped 4K 60p, faster readout, upgraded Beyond's XR processor, improved thermal and IBIS performance, and enhanced usability could redefine what a mid-range full-frame hybrid camera can achieve. If Sony delivers on these rumored features at a competitive price point, the A7 the 5th of May not only satisfy existing users, but also lure back creators who had considered switching to rival systems. With official announcements still pending, the excitement around this camera continues to build, making it one of the most anticipated full-frame releases in years. For anyone invested in the Sony E-mount ecosystem, the Sony A7 V could very well represent the long-awaited upgrade that finally balances photography and video performance in a single, versatile body.